Imagine a picturesque town where everyone knows each other. The town, where narrow streets are lined with old brick houses, and the air carries stories of generations. In this town lives Sheriff John, a man known for his bravery and kindness, born and raised here. His presence brings a sense of security, yet he is aware of the strange tales circulating around the town. Martha, the local teacher, is a pillar of the community, inspiring young and old with her optimism and wisdom. Her deep connection to the town and its history gives her a unique insight into its mysteries. Among these familiar faces is young Emma, a fearless and curious girl who loves exploring the town's forgotten corners. Her curiosity leads her to the old house at the town's edge, a place all adults avoid, but which fascinates her endlessly. This old house, hidden among trees, stands as a silent guardian of the past. Its dark windows look out over the town with a quiet vigilance. Although known by the townspeople, its true nature and history remain shrouded in mystery. One evening, as the sun set and the streets were enveloped in silence, strange sounds began to emanate from the house. Some locals spoke of winds playing with creaky doors, while others whispered of past spirits. Sheriff John, Martha, and Emma, each felt the unease these sounds evoked. John was determined to protect the town, but the house's mystery went beyond his understanding. Martha tried to find logical explanations, but she too felt that something was amiss. And Emma, whose curiosity was now mixed with fear, couldn't resist thinking that the house might hold something more. As the night deepened, the town remained quiet, but in every resident's heart grew a question, what lies behind the walls of that old house? In the picturesque town, where calm and serene life usually intertwined, a growing unease began to take root. Strange phenomena, initially thought trivial, started to multiply, spreading an indefinable sense of fear. For instance, Sheriff John noted several odd occurrences that couldn't easily be explained. Objects in his office seemed to move on their own, leading him to wonder if there was more than just coincidence at play. Martha, usually calm and rational, observed her books on the shelf behaving strangely. Though she sought logical explanations, she too felt a rising unease. Young Emma, normally exploring every corner of the town, now felt a discomfort previously foreign to her. Her curiosity remained, but now it was accompanied by hesitation and fear. Then came the time for the local festival, an event meant to be a celebration and joy for the entire town. The festival brought temporary relief and filled the streets with music, laughter, and ease. The townspeople gathered, trying to forget their worries, and for a moment, it seemed that all fears were forgotten. But even as the festival continued, the shadows of the old house and the whispers that carried through the evening air were reminders that something remained unresolved. The shadows that appeared on the fringes of their vision were darker and denser than ever. And so, even though the festival brought momentary joy, beneath the surface of the town still lurked inexplicable mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Amidst the atmosphere of rising tension and uncertainty, a group of townspeople decided to uncover the secrets of the old house. This group was not made up of random thrill-seekers, they were people deeply rooted in the town and its fate. Sheriff John led the group with a determination to protect his town, though internally shaken by uncertainty. Martha, with her background in education, sought to find logical explanations for the mysteries, yet she felt a growing apprehension about the unknown. And young Emma, whose curiosity was now mixed with fears, couldn't resist the opportunity to learn more. As they entered the house, an overwhelming sense of dread and gloom enveloped them. The atmosphere inside was oppressive and heavy, as if the walls had absorbed cries and weeping from the past. Each step they took was accompanied by the echo of their own footsteps, seeming to be the only life in this void. In the darkest room of the house, they found an old diary, its pages yellowed with age. 
Reading its contents, filled with mad ravings and dark rituals, they began to understand the true nature of the house. The diary revealed that the house was built over an ancient burial ground of a forgotten cult, a stark contrast to the idyllic image of the town. As they left the house, each member of the group felt the weight of the secret they carried. John pondered how to protect the town from the dark truth. Martha, who usually sought logic, now felt her world turned upside down. And Emma, who once sought adventure, now felt the weight of fear. Returning to the town, each of them was aware that what they had discovered would change their lives forever. They were no longer just inhabitants of a picturesque town, they were guardians of its darkest secret. After the revelation in the diary, the townspeople gathered to face the terrifying truth. It was discovered that the house was not just a place of old fears but a living entity, saturated with the town's dark past. This revelation sent a wave of shock and fear among the townspeople but also awakened an unexpected sense of unity. Sheriff John, facing the greatest challenge of his career, led the townspeople to stand together against the darkness. Despite his fear for his people's safety, he was determined to protect them at all costs. Martha, who always valued truth, struggled to process this revelation and helped others understand what it meant for them. She organized discussion groups where people could express their feelings and concerns. Emma, though young, began to grasp the complexity of history and the role her generation would play in shaping the town's future. Her energy and hope inspired other young townspeople to embrace their past and work towards a better future. Together, the townspeople decided that instead of being governed by fear, they would work to break the cycle and forge a new legacy. In this challenge, they found not only strength and courage but also a new level of understanding and cooperation. Though the truth was painful, the townspeople chose to face it together. They let go of the fear and horror the house represented and instead chose the path of hope and cooperation, creating a new story for their town. The final entry in the diary revealed that the townspeople were descendants of the madmen who gave life to the house bringing immense shock. This revelation changed their perception of the town itself and their place in it. They were not merely inhabitants of an idyllic town but part of its dark history. Sheriff John, now burdened with the knowledge of his ancestors' past, felt a profound responsibility for what had transpired. He contemplated how to lead his people in dealing with this new reality while maintaining their unity and strength. Martha, who had always valued truth, tried to process this revelation and assist others in understanding what it meant for them. She organized discussion groups for people to share their thoughts and fears. Emma, although young, began to understand the complexity of history and the role her generation would play in shaping the town's future. Her energy and optimism inspired other young townspeople to embrace their past and work toward a better future. Together, the townspeople accepted this difficult truth. They decided that instead of being paralyzed by fear, they would work to break the cycle and establish a new legacy. In this challenge, they found not only strength and courage but also a deeper level of understanding and collaboration. Though the truth was painful, the townspeople chose to face it together. They let go of the fear and horror the house represented and instead embraced a path of hope and cooperation, creating a new narrative for their town. So ended their journey not as victims of a dark past but as creators of a brighter future for themselves and the generations to come.